Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to use GIMP image editing software to combine two images together. So we'll work on these two images here. We've got this background of this Antarctic and we've got the picture of this elephant and we're going to combine them together. So we'll open up GIMP software and we'll drag and drop the background to this picture of this ice background and we'll drag and drop the picture of the elephant into the canvas. So the first thing we want to do is right click on, we can see there's two layers here, there's the background layer and there's the picture of the elephant. We're going to right click on the elephant and add an alpha channel. And what this will do is if we remove any content from the picture of the elephant, so if we use the eraser tool for example, and we start to remove content, the background will show through. You can see that, you can see the background here showing through. So really what we want to do is quickly remove this white background. So we'll select the fuzzy select tool here, the magic one, and we will leave these settings pretty much as they are. These should be pretty, pretty good. And we'll click on the white selection area, anything that's white on this elephant picture. And when we do that, the software will check and draw around the elephant itself here. Then we can just hit the delete key on our keyboard and that will remove all of that background. You can see we need to remove a little bit of the background here as well. So let's delete that as well. Okay. So let's go to select none. So it will remove all of the selection and then we can use the move tool and we can move our elephant using the move tool. And really it would be nice if the elephant was standing in the water, right? So let's move the elephant up. We really need to rescale it. The elephant's a little bit too big. So we'll use the scale tool, click on the elephant, hold down the control key, and we'll shrink the elephant down to about this size. Click scale. And then we'll use the move tool and move the elephant so that it's standing in the water. About here. Now, clearly it doesn't look like the elephant standing in the water so we need to pretty much let's see let's have him standing around here so what we'll do now let's zoom in a little bit and we want to almost have the elephant look like he's standing in water so we'll use the clone tool here and we'll size it up a bit bigger you can see there's a circle here so you have to be a bit careful now because really what we want to do is select let's make that a bit smaller really what we want to do is select a piece of the water and use that to draw over the foot here so we, we need to select the background here and then we need to hold down the control key and left click so something like in fact we could probably select well, something pretty clean so something like around here so we hold down the control key and then left click but now we need to select the elephant layer because we want to draw over the foot I'm going to do this a little bit quick but normally I'll take a bit more time You don't really want to draw over the trunk itself, so you can take a bit more time doing this.
you can kind of get an idea of what we're trying to do here. We're going to try and make it look like the elephant's standing in the water here. You can manipulate it, you could select some ice for example. Going back back to the background. Select some of this ice. You get the idea. You can spend a bit more time doing that and manipulating the image a bit more clean. Uh, but in essence, we've got our elephant in the background now. So let's just go ahead and save that image. File, save as. And we want to save. We should really save it as a GIMP file first. So we just call this. We just call it elephant in water. And then we can save it one more time. And this time we'll save it as a JPEG file. Uh, I'm going to export it. we can close this picture down we have our original GIMP file here so if we wanted to go ahead and edit that image again and touch up the water or change something we can do that again here using that file we can open this file and we'll have our two layers these are the original layers that we had and then we managed to create quite quickly this picture of the elephant standing in the water it could have been a picture of anything standing in the water or it could have been some building or whatever you wanted it to be so that's how you manipulate those two separate images combine them together and you know with fairly quick job here we've done a an okay job really okay so i hope you find that tutorial useful have fun experimenting with gimp and see what photo manipulation you can do and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial